that U.S. Canada semifinal game, man, it doesn't get any more tense than that. The adrenaline hits, and you just super focused. You know, the catches are, are fire, the throws are hard. Can't make a mistake, the pressure's on the crowd yelling. We're looking at some of the most advanced um, sort of outputs that someone could be generating on the court. My name is Joshua Hustis. I'm Ailey Byam. Jason Mergler. My name is Victor Gravilli, and I'm the head coach and general manager for Team Canada. I think dodgeball, what makes it so unique, it's just a, it's a combination of athleticism, it's a combination of power, of precision. You can see in the audience their faces and, and how they were reacting to all the hits and catches in the game, that they were super into it. My uh, family came to see me watch, watch me play for the first time and, and my brother was telling me that this was like the greatest sporting event he's seen live. Sometimes a David and Goliath sort of story um, and I think that adds to the the joy of watching of watching what happens on the court. Five years ago dodgeball was like throw. <laughs> no pumps. Well in my experience there were no pump faking it was like oh that guy's arm was crazy and you just get hit. You wouldn't move laterally. I would like I said I would just move vertically and it would you just watch there was no uh, protection for your middles, when the wingers wouldn't pump fake, it was flat. My journey towards dodgeball began about nine years ago. Uh, I started coaching at Humber College, the Lakeshore campus, uh, at the extramural level and continue to do so um, to this present day. Uh, in 2015, I was asked to come on board and start coaching our national team um, and take over the women's program and since then I've now inherited the men's program as well. Dodgeball has been something that's been exposed to everyone at some point in their lives. We all recognize it and remember it as the childhood game that you grow up loving and in some cases hating. People are getting better all the time and, and so it, you know if you're kind of at the top playing on Team Canada you still have to push yourself to get better because there are always people kind of nipping at your heels and, and uh, wanting to, to be in that position. There's like all types of players, man, all types of people of different sizes, different ethnicities as well. Like it just, it brings everyone together and it just knocks away, knocks away any stereotype about anybody of any size and any, you know, type. It's awesome. And when it comes to dodgeball skill, um, you know, you've got players that are throwing anywhere between 90 to 145 kilometers an hour. A lot more communication, the wingers will be up more, more active, drawing eyes, making people go like this. And have someone's head on the swivel, they're nervous. It's just all a mind game, and that's what I really appreciate about the game. Just like any sport, it can be chaos. Hockey can be chaos, basketball can be chaos. What makes you so good at it is the ability to bring organization to that chaos. The organization we play through to actually play at the national level is Dodgeball Canada. They are the national sport organization that runs, essentially, or tries to run all of dodgeball across the country. They've been going on for two years now. They've been making great strides and improving, you know, the quality of dodgeball around the country and kind of standardizing the game a little bit because before that, there was a bunch of leagues here and there, they just play all sorts of different rules, but now I think because of the demand for it, people are moving towards the more standard kind of international style of play. The highest level I've played is at national level, so internationally against all different sorts of countries, uh, the US. I've been to New Zealand, I've been to Hong Kong, I've been to Melbourne, Las Vegas. Dodgeball is rewarding for me, in my experience with the game, when you win together. Nothing beats watching someone get to a place where they've always dreamed to be, so that's what keeps me motivated. Next steps for dodgeball, well, it's already started getting more into schools, which is brilliant.
then you start to build more of a, not just competition when the kids, you know, grow older, but more seasoned competition and exposure and uh, recognition as a real sport. Every province operates uh, at a different level, so what are we doing to, to be more present in schools, elementary schools, high schools, colleges, and universities? Um, and we see it as a very connected stream. Um, all of those three institutions have an intramural program where dodgeball is seen as a game. We have an opportunity to go in there and take it to the next level. I could see us at the Pan Am Games, um, especially having it hosted here, was it 2014? Um, yeah, you saw the diversity of sports that exist out there that compete under in this, you know, really prestigious tournament and competing between countries at a really high level. Um, and there's a bit more space for those um, kind of different niche sports that you might not see in the Olympics. And sport can be defined in many different ways. The way that I personally define sport, and I think the way that a lot of people define sport is sport originates from any sort of game, right? Hockey was a game at one point, basketball was a game at one point, and it evolved over time into something bigger. Um, dodgeball is no different. Dodgeball has started as a game. We know that. It's, there's different variations that it can be played at. Um, it's recognized at different levels. What makes something a sport is the level of investment that you're willing to make to it. We're still growing, you know, and, and I think we have, we have a long road to go, but uh, I, like, I like that we're unique and I like that we're kind of wacky sometimes. If there's anything that I want taken away from these, like this interview or, you know, anything dodgeball related is that it's, it is serious and it's not just a game. It's more than a game. It, I think, you know, anyone who's involved with the sport right now, they're trailblazers. Um, they'll go down as, as pioneers. You know, 20 years from now, I hope that those names are remembered and 40 years from now, I hope that they're cherished. That's just the dream, right? You hear about Bobby Orr in hockey, you hear about Babe Ruth in baseball, you know, I'd, I'd love to think some of the names that are being affiliated with dodgeball right now will, will have the same level of meaning that those names have to those respective sports. Um, and I, I just think about that every day I wake up and it just continues to motivate me to work harder for the sport and, and leave a legacy that I hope that my kid will be able to embrace and, and be proud of.